What's going on YouTube? Joey just Joey here and today we are here for episode 1 of our Egglock for Sacred Gold. Now the first thing that I want to go over is rules for the Egglock. Number 1. If a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be boxed permanently. 2. Only the first Pokemon of each area besides static or gift Pokemon may be encountered, may be encountered. The rule doesn't start until Pokeballs are obtained. So once I get Pokeballs in the game to use to catch wild Pokemon, that's when that rule starts. Now three, for every encounter, the Pokemon will be swapped for an egg made by you guys in the PC. Number four, unlimited rare candies will be in the bag to raise the level of the hatched Pokemon to match the level of the encountered Pokemon. If a rare candy is found in the wild, I must it must be used immediately. So this rule if I go out and I catch a level 8 Geodude and then I hatch another Pokemon, I use the rare candies to get that hatched Pokemon to get to level 8. So that way uh, the Pokemon isn't level 1 and I'm not about to face the Elite 4, catch a new Pokemon and then I hatch a level 1 Pokemon. All right, and the dupes clause. If a Pokemon is hatched and the hatched Pokemon is already obtained, another egg can be selected to add diversity to the game. So if I hatch a Chimchar and then somebody else gives me a Chimchar and I hatch a second Chimchar, I can either choose to keep the Chimchar or choose another egg to hatch so that I don't have a box full of Chimchars or Caterpies or something like that. And the last rule that I like to do myself personally is called the Type Lock Rule. Only one Pokemon of each primary typing can be in my party at a time. So for example, I can only have one Pokemon whose first typing is Water, one with Fire, one with Electricity. Ele electricity. Electric. <laughs> so I can have a Water Grass Pokemon and a grass water Pokemon, but I can't have a water grass and a water rock or, or like different things like that. So those are all the rules and let's jump in. All right, and here we are, Pokemon Heart Gold, which is not really Heart Gold, it's Sacred Gold, but let's start the game. All right. I will first tell you important things about the game. Please touch any topic that you'd like to know more about on the lower screen. No info's needed. We're good at Pokemon. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Yawn! Huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept! And Professor Oak comes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to Sacred Gold or Storm Silver, a hack with an expansion of features. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know. Let me show you a native Pokemon. The Jojo and Kanto regions were, were known for having only a fraction of the Pokemon within its borders, but large-scale migration has brought a great variety to the region's fauna. There are new challenges awaiting you, and a great amount of differences in how you'll raise your Pokémon. Alright, alright. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I... am a boy. Okay. <laughs> I had the button switched on my controller. Alright, so you're a boy then! Yes, I am. Please tell me your name. My name is... Joey. Hi, I'm Joey. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, no, I'm Joey. All right. Oh, I did it again. I got to switch this on my controller. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so your name is Joey. Yes, it is. Joey, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. If you ever want to find out some of the changes, check the documents that should have come with your game. Most, if not all, information you need should be contained in there somewhere. Play, But play as long as you like, for you may enjoy playing the unknown. Either way, be sure to have fun. Dre. Thank you, Dreano. Really appreciate it. And we shrink down. 
to not 8 bit. Is it 32 bit? 64 bit? I don't know. We're, we're, we're smaller. Alright, so we're in our room. Let's go to our PC. Joey booted up the PC and checked the mailbox. <gasps> we have mail from Lyra. Alright, what would you like to do with Lyra's mail? Let's read it. Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! Alright. Alright, that's. That's good for you. Alright, now let's go downstairs and talk to our mom. Hey, mom! What up? I'm awake now. About time you woke up! Professor Elm wanted to see you. Here's your things. Oh, we get everything at once. Right. I hear Johto has changed a lot in the in the last few years. You should be careful, Joey! Here, take your running shoes along. You'll probably want your bike and music player as well, Joey. Joey obtained the bicycle. And Joey obtained the GB sounds. So, in this game... Uh, he gave you the GB sounds right at the beginning instead of at the end of the game, so that you can switch over to play the to use the music from the original Gold and Silver for Game Boy. All right. I'm sure you know how to use these. Oh, I hear Elm has a gift for you. We're special. All right, so let me go over here. Let me click on our running shoes, and let's go to options. Make our text speed fast. Our battle scene is going to be on. Our battle style is going to be shift. Mono, our button is going to be normal, and let's see what uh, what layout we want. Ooh, I, I like this one because it's like a Game Boy one, but let's see what else there is. Oh, this one. I love this one. All right, cool. All right, so now, oh, I went, oh, there's Joey. We have $3,000. How do, <laughs> I don't understand how we started out with $3,000. Uh, let's see. All right, so the Game Boy sounds and the bicycle. All right. So let's go and let's go see Professor Elm. All right, so we go outside and a Meryl runs up to us. Okay, what's gonna happen with the Meryl? Oh, there's, there's a girl. She's annoying. Her name's Lyra. I'm gonna make a voice for her. Hope it doesn't annoy you guys too much. Oh, oh no, never mind. She just runs away. Good. All right, so let's go down here and let's talk to the. Uh, he's the something. All right. Yo, Joey! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Oh, I thought he was the... Like, the technology is advanced so far. Alright, let's talk to this lady. I like your bag. Thank you. I like my bag, too. That's why I, that's why I have it on my back. Oh, there's this shady guy. Dot, dot, dot. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Kick! Elm Pokemon Lab. Alright. So let us go into Professor Elm. Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. Oh, okay. Let's go to Professor Elm. Now, Professor Elm needs sort of a nerdy voice. Hi, Joey. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel walking outside their Pokeballs. I was hoping I could have I could have your help with the tests. Oh, hey! I got an email! Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. He says he has something. But we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? You can take one of the Pokemon in the machine. Well, let's take one of these Pokemon. Touch a Pokeball to see what Pokemon's inside. We're going to choose Totodile, even though... Um... Even though we're going to swap it out for an egg. So, do you want Totodile, the water-type Pokemon? I do. I love Totodile. Joey received Totodile from Professor Elm. Okay. Nope, I'm not going to give it a nickname. Because this Totodile, unfortunately, isn't special. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's just so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Joey. All right. Oh, and we're leaving, but this guy stops us. Well, well, Joey, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Obtain the potions. Nice, so we can heal. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna use that. All right, let's go outside. And let's see. Oh, Lyra's there. All right. Give her kind of a annoying voice, but. Joey, you got yourself a Pokemon. I gotta say, it's really cute. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Okay, Lyra. Goodbye. 
Yeah, Meryl. Go go with her, Meryl. All right. So let's go over and let us talk to our mom and tell her we have a Pokemon and we're going to past Cherry Grove City to see Mr. Pokemon. Oh, Joey, that's a cute Pokemon. I forgot the voice I did for mom. Professor Elmas have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elmas has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your Poke Gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Joey received the Poke Gear. Wonderful. So now we have a map. The Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes. Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? Well, thanks for telling me anyway, Mom, even though I said I already knew how to do it. The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Alright, thanks, Mom. Alright. So now let's go and start heading over there. Now remember, the Nuzlocke, the Nuzlocke, the Egglock rules have not started yet. So if this Totodile faints, it does not count because we have not gotten Pokeballs yet. And the Totodile isn't really ours anyway. Well, wait one second! Oh, Professor Elm's back. Alright, let's see what he's got to say. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Joey registered Professor Elm in the Pokegear so he can call us all the time. Good. I'll call you if anything comes up. Cool. Alright, so let's go to Route 29. Alright, so we don't have Pokeballs yet, so none of these encounters count. And I'm, I'm probably just gonna run away. It's a Zigzagoon. Alright. So let's go in here and let's run away because we don't want to get too much experience for Totodile before we can get our starter. And once we get to Cherry Grove City, we can get our actual starter. Because uh, there's a PC in Cherry Grove City. Oh, no, I don't have... Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. Alright, now let's go this way. Alright. Now, Dreano changed many, many, many things in this game, and he did it for the better. Like, for example, there's a Starly here. There weren't Starly here in the original Heart Gold and Soul Silver games. So, let's run away. And he changed quite a lot of things that I noticed personally. Like over here, he got rid of this tree that required cut, so you can I could just cut cut straight through and go up that way. So let's talk to this guy. Hey, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep them out of tall grass. Oh, thank you, sir. That's very helpful. All right, so let's go over here and let's go around this grass and up there. Okay, we missed second blade of grass. Second blade of grass. Okay, it is another Starly. So let's see what moves our Totodile has. I'm gonna run. It's okay. Alright, so let's go over here and... Joey found a potion! Alright. 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 And let's go back. And let's go this way. A Pidgey, too. But we're not going to use any of these Pokemon. It's just interesting to see how many different normal and flying type Pokemon there are in the very first route. So there's this guy that says, I want to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. Awesome. Sounds good, bro. Alright, so let's go down here and let's jump down. We can't get that because we don't have an Apricorn bag yet. And let's go up to... Yeah, I'll get that later. Alright, there's an item down there, but I'll get it later. Alright, let's go here and talk to this old man. You're a rookie trainer, right? Let me show you around. Follow me. He's fast. Oh, please, let me show you around. It won't take long, I promise. Okay. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Good, good. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little farther, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Good. So we gotta go that way. We know that much. Let's see what's out here by the water. This is the sea, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Water type Pokemon, probably. <laughs> Alright. And... And here is my house. As a reward for following me, take this old rod. So we obtain the old rod, so we already can go fishing for Pokemon. 
Simply toss that rod into water and you have a chance of getting a bite. He didn't say goodbye, so let's go in and let's say goodbye to this old man. When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's some words of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon, but you can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there's no need to be alarmed. Remember what I'm about to tell you. Treat them with the utmost kindness. I will. I will treat my Pokemon with kindness. Unless they die. Then that is unintentional. Unintentional. I'm not going to kill them on purpose. Okay. Not going to kill the Pokemon on purpose. Of course not. Alright, so let's go up here. And let's go to the PC. And let's open the PC. Boot up the PC. Boot up someone's PC. And then move the Pokemon. There's no Pokemon in there. So I will be right back with the Pokemon. Saving the game. Saving a lot of data. Saving a lot of data. Can I speed up? I don't have a speed up set. And now we wait. Save the game! We got some eggs! Alright, we got eggs. So, I have right now 33 eggs. Perfect! Thank everyone for everybody that sent me some eggs, and let's choose our starter, shall we? So I have a dice right there, so I'll roll it. Okay, now we're going to go to row three. Okay, we're going to go row three, and the Pokemon that we're going to choose is number three. Alright, so this one... Holding the leftovers, that's our starter. So now let's go out and let's hatch him. Okay. Hmm. My fast egg hatching glitch isn't, or the cheat isn't working, so give me one second. Okay, so actually, I went in and this Pokemon's name is Goku. Because somebody named it for me, so I'm going to go and I'm going to write down... Starter Goku and it's holding an item so let me see if I can I can't take the item from there So let me go to the PC and see if it'll let me if I go to someone's PC and Move items. Let me see if I can Put it in my bag All right, okay, so now I will hatch the Pokemon and I will be back in a few seconds Okay, here we are and our Pokemon is hatching so let's see what it is. It's a shiny sand true. All right. So it is a shiny true and its nickname will be It's a male. Its nickname is Goku. All right. So now let's go to our bag and take one of our a few of our 99, 999 rare candies. And we're going to raise Goku to level 5 because that is the level that we met our, the Totodile at. Wants to learn Defense Curl. Oh, let's see what else it has. Mudshot, Rock Slide, Swords Dance, and Counter. I am not going to learn Defense Curl. Alright. Okay, level 4. And level 5. Alright, so perfect. So now let's go and let's go into the PC and let's move and let's take the Totodile and let's put it in the spot right here so that we know that that's what we got for it. Alright, so now we have a level 5 Goku. It has an adamant nature with its ability Sand Veil. So let us look at its summary. So it's adamant, so plus attack minus special attack, which is cool, cool, cool. Mudshot, rock slide, sword dance, counter. It is a somewhat vain sand true. All right, perfect. It's not shiny though. That's unfortunate. But um, all right, perfect. So we got a sand true. And oh, look at the little sand true behind us, walking behind us. Oh, it's so adorable. All right, let's see what it says. It yawned loudly. Oh, 
gave me a sunny look. Alright, so now let's go outside of here. And this is actually where I'm going to wrap up the first episode. So I will be back as soon as I can with episode 2. So stay tuned. Uh, whoever made me that sand true, thank you very much for making me the sand true. And as always, I'll catch you later. See ya!